warm, humid night in South Florida. The national championship of college football on the line. Number one, Clemson against number four, Nebraska. Danny Ford, college coach of the year, just 33 years old, leads his number one Clemson Tigers into the game against a counterpart of long standing and high ranking among the coaches, Tom Osborne, the coach of Nebraska. He calls this his ninth team at Nebraska, the best he's ever had. Earlier, both coaches spent those quiet moments before game time in the locker room with their players. Let's hear what they had to say. <laughs> okay, fellas, we think that it's uh, same thing as always. We've told you through 11 games, we want you to really concentrate out there. Now, it's going to be a lot of crowd noise. Clemson's got a very vocal following, Nebraska does. And so be sure when you get in that huddle that you know what the play is. Defensively, you know what the signals are. That you, you really concentrate. Everybody has to know what everybody else is doing. Well, gentlemen, you got your last football game to go into. Your seniors done a good job on your leadership part. We appreciate everything you've done for Clemson University. You got a chance to go out with the most wins of any Clemson team in history. You worked awful hard. You went represented your conference well. You're, you're an ACC champion. It's a big football game for you. You know that. There's a lot at stake in the football game. But the most important thing you should do when you go out and play in a football game like this just go out and have fun. Just go out, don't worry about mistakes. Go out and play reckless. Play with your hearts. Lay it on the line. Do the best that you can do. And that's all that anybody can ask of. And so Coach Ford and the Tigers go for the national title. Good evening, everyone. Don Crickey with John Brody. Glad you can be with us as NBC watches Clemson go for the championship. Despite the number one ranking, Clemson doesn't get a lot of respect. Their All-American linebacker, Jeff Davis, says he's tired of people asking him, what's Clemson? Where's Clemson at? Is that in North Carolina? We all know it's in South Carolina. Football people, John, certainly know who Clemson is. I'll tell you, the National Football League has Clemson graduates scattered all throughout the country, so I think a lot of people are gaining more and more knowledge, and a lot of them already know. John, they say you win championships with great defense. Nebraska surely has that on an eight-game win streak. They've allowed just six points a game over that stretch. I think they're concerned a little bit about Clemson's offense, though, and Homer Jordan. They better be. Homer Jordan's one of those fellas that can be so dynamic, no matter how good you are structurally, he can beat you with his execution. If I'm Tom Osborne, that's my concern. If I'm Dan Ford, I'm concerned about the line of scrimmage. Are, are our fellas who line up at 6'5", on an average, big and strong enough to handle the beef from Nebraska? If we are, I think they deserve to be number one. That's Dan's, that's Dan's concern. It's a big chore. All right, John, a third member of our NBC broadcast team with us is Mr. Bob Trumpy. Robert? Thank you, Don. Uh, even though there may be bedlam on the field in the Orange Bowl tonight between Clemson and Nebraska, hopefully these gentlemen right here have cool heads. They're the offensive coaches of Nebraska and defensive coaches of Nebraska. This is the brain trust. They will relay signals down from here, getting a different perspective of the game and giving them to Tom Osborne. Later on in the game, we'll go back to the Clemson booth to give you a different perspective of this Orange Bowl for the national title. All right, Bob, thank you. And you can see the Orange Bowl is packed. The ticket demand, the greatest it's ever been in the 48-year history of this great event. As Clemson comes down from South Carolina, the Palmetto State, to go against Nebraska, and the Huskers are on a roll right now. They blasted Oklahoma their last time out. Nebraska coming in with a rushing offense that gains over 330 yards a game. But Clemson doesn't give up much. They're one of the best teams in the country in scoring defense. In fact, in their 11 wins, only one team scored more than 10 points against Clemson. And Don, I think you'll see tonight some of the fellas that haven't had the recognition that some of their All-Americans have be very instrumental in this ball game because they've got a couple of outside defensive end linebacker combinations. A kid named Andy Hedden, an old quarterback, number 12. And I think you may see an awful lot of them. Donald Iguabuike, a Nigerian, kicks off for Clemson, drives it down the field. The ball is picked up by Irving Fryer, and Clemson makes the tackle at about the 27-yard line. Now let's take a look at Nebraska on offense. There's their quarterback, a senior Mark Maurer, his running backs, and they're good ones, fullback Phil Bates and tailback Roger Craig. And the receivers for Nebraska after the interior linemen. Todd Brown is the wide out. Jamie Williams is the tight end, a typical big Nebraska tight end. Randy Tice is the left tackle. Mike Mandelko at left guard. Maybe the best player in the country right there, Dave Remington, the right guard. Tom Carlstrom, the right tackle is Dan Hurley. And it's first and 10 now for Nebraska. They go from their 25-yard line. To the run to Roger Craig, and he's across the 30-yard line. 
Out to the 31. The Nebraska Ibacks, Roger Craig and Mike Rogier, he alternates with him, are averaging well over six yards a rush this season. Bill Smith made the knockdown for Clemson. On the first carry of the game, Nebraska gets six yards. First meeting ever between Nebraska and Clemson. We'll check out that Clemson defense now as we watch Nebraska go second and four. First back through the fullback. Phil Bates gets a couple. He's short of the first down. Clemson, a fired up group of guys. They forced 39 turnovers this season. Left end Bill Smith, left tackle Dan Benish, middle guard William Perry, a freshman, 305 pounds. Jeff Bryant is the right tackle, a top pro prospect. Andy Hedden is a rover. He plays the right end. The linebackers, Danny Triplett and All-American Jeff Davis, the ACC Player of the Year. And now, it's third and two for Nebraska. Opening series of downs for the Huskers after taking the opening kickoff. One wide receiver, Todd Brown set to the left. Hour rolls out, pitches back, free ball, and Clemson's going to get it. William Devane, the middle guard, number 94, came up with the football. And we saw the first play, well-executed seven-yard game. William Devane took chances on first down, second down, and third down. They were effective on second and third. That was a fumble that was caused by excellent defensive play, Don. Watch, watch the middle guard shoot across Remington's face. That forces the play to the outside. Excellent defensive play. Number 94, William Devane. Not only did he make the play happen, he recovered the fumble. The 40th turnover this year that Clemson has forced. Taking the ball away, and now the Tigers on their first possession start inside the Nebraska 30. Here's Homer Jordan rolling out. Gets it away and hits a strike. Downfield to his tight end, Bubba Diggs, inside the 15-yard line. William Devane, one of the Bruise brothers, B-R-U-I-S-E. The other one is the 305-pound William Perry. He alternates at middle guard with Homer Jordan's the quarterback and one of the best. Tailback Cliff Austin. Clemson going with Jeff McCall at fullback. He'd missed the last two games with injuries. Gain of four yards on the first play. It's second down and six now for the Clemson Tigers. On the 25, hand up. Austin turns inside the Nebraska 20 and gets down to the 17-yard line as Sammy Sims, the monster back, made the knockdown. Checking out now the rest of the Clemson offense. They got about 50,000 people back in a wide receiver. He's an All-American. Perry Tuttle, number 22. The wing back, underrated and dangerous, Jerry Gilliard. And the tight end, you saw him in action, Bubba Diggs. Now, Clemson goes first and 10 from the Nebraska 17-yard line. Jordan running with the ball is Kevin Neck. Didn't get much. Got down to about the 16-yard line. The offensive blockers in there are huge for Clemson. Brad Fisher and Jamie Farr at the left side. The center is an ACC all-conference player, Tony Berryhill, Brian Clark, and the best offensive lineman and right tackle, Lee Nanny, an All-American. The Husker Band is here. So are many people down from Lincoln and all over the state of Nebraska. But right now, Clemson looking to capitalize on the first big break of this game, the fumble recovery. Second down and 10. Jordan rolling out. He can run. He can throw well on the run. Gets the ball away. It's out of bounds. A high defensive play. Brent Evans, one of the Nebraska linebackers, came over and hammered Homer Jordan as he released the ball. Let's check out the Cornhuskers on defense now. What a group this is. Averaging the opposition just six points a game over the last eight. The Williams brothers on the left side. Jimmy's a first-team All-American. The middle guard from Huntsville, Alabama, Jeff Merrill, Henry Waxter, and Tony Felici on the right side. Steve Dan Kroger plays one of the linebackers. Brent Evans is the other. And now, third down and ten comes up. Clemson at the 17-yard line of Nebraska. Homer Jordan, deep drop. Has a problem. He's down. Outside the 25-yard line, Don. Don, it's, it's no secret. These teams have played. They both play the same style of offense. They know the strengths of each other. That time Perry Tuttle was, was the intended receiver. We went down the field, was double covered. And if you defense the right fella at the right time, it's very, it's very difficult to, to execute offensively. But take a look. Here's a man that has, has really been one of the great in a long line of great wide receivers at Clemson. First, he's got to get underneath the cornerback, 
Then he's got to make a move on.